All right. We're still okay. I think it all finally went. I am, it looks like I'm live on YouTube. I'm not sure about Facebook. I had some technical difficulties. I don't know what the deal is, but it would not connect. My cameras would not connect to YouTube, but I believe I am good. Looks like sound is working. So thanks for joining me and uh, waiting for me to get on. I appreciate that. You just never know with these uh, computers nowadays what's going to happen. So tonight, mystery one sheet wonder. I have been gone on vacation. So I, this is the first time, I'm usually pretty prepared, but this is the first time I do not have samples to show you. I'm going to wing it and we are going to create them from scratch to finish. I have the layouts in my head and I kind of made some prototypes, but I do not have finished cards. So we're going to make them and finish them right tonight. So they might end up ugly, <laughs> but that's okay. You'll get the concept and I can always embellish them later. I don't like to hold you up while I'm thinking and doing things, but I will switch the camera and show you this month's Stamp Camp at Home Card Club features the Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper. Yes, this paper was a celebration paper, which sold out. I have 32 kits that I have cut and ready for club members. So if you would like to join my club or give it a try and get this month's bundle or kit bundle, uh, click on the link under the video under show more and you can find all the details on my blog regarding this month's stamp camp at home card club kit. Let's change the camera. All right. So this month's kit, my club participants receive a half a pack of that dainty, gar uh, dainty flowers designer series paper. So it's six by 12. I take the pack and I cut it directly in half and each person gets half of that. They get the card kit to make eight cards, four different designs, two of each design. They get a full pack of the brass butterflies and a half a pack of the foam strips. These are the cards in this month's club. This is card number one, just very basic, easy. I start out simple, then we go up from there. This is card number two. Isn't that cool? Card number three is a fun fold. It is a Z fold. And then card number four, a little bit more technical but it's got floating panels and it expands out so when it stands it's like that very cool fun card and then all month long club members get pdf files bonus pdf files bonus videos using the supplies in my kit for the month now they don't get the cut card stock but they if they want their cards to be identical to mine then they will need to order the dainty delight bundle which is a stamp set coordinating dies i will tell you that this bundle is not orderable at this time it is expected to be back into the stampin up warehouse the week of march 13th now club members if they let me know in advance before the first of the month they just pay bundle price. They don't have to pay shipping and tax. And the ones that did let me know, they are getting it because I had their bundles ordered before we ran out. So just a little perk for being a club member. Now tonight, we are going to be using that gorgeous print of paper. We're going to be using this one right here. And I'm going to show you how to get eight cards out of this one 12 by 12 sheet. These are fun fold cards. We, if you have, are a club member and you only have half of a strip, you can make four cards instead of the eight. Or if you use different designer series paper, you can get eight out of one 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. Wing it. Yep, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> it's just been one of those kind of days. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get on. And then I did. 
So I'm gonna cut this at five and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut this one at five and a quarter, which is the other side. So I have two strips of this gorgeous print that are five and a quarter by 12. I have the center piece, and I'm going to cut that at three fourths of an inch. And then I'm gonna leave that right now because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with those pieces. I have things in mind, but we will see. I'm gonna take those two strips that are five and a quarter by 12, and I'm gonna cut them down to three inch by five and a quarter, which would give us our eight cards. And I have not cut these down, so I don't know what I'm gonna end up with, but the print is gorgeous no matter how you slice it. All right, so let's see, what print do I want for what? display. I think I'll save them. And this is just because I've never done this, these cards. So I'm kind of just, like I said, I'm winging it. I am going to do these on that. I'm just kind of looking at my cards that I kind of have some idea of how I'm going to lay them out. And we'll go from there. I think I'm going to switch this to there. All right, so we're gonna start out a little basic and go from there. So I pulled the rich raspberry from the paper and the this first card is cut seven and a half by five and a half and then it's scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna make two of each design. That's why if I said if you only have a six by 12 of this, you could just do one of each of these designs for a total of your four cards. We are going to do eight. So I have my basic white for the inside. And then I have my two pieces of that designer series paper that is so gorgeous to go on the front. So, so far you're with me, so simple, easy. Like I said, I don't have finished ones, so we're gonna go with what we have. And well, I'll think about embellishing, I'm not sure, but at least you'll get the layouts. Inside basic white. There we go. The other card. This was a very popular celebration item. So gorgeous and it did sell out. So if you didn't get your hands on it, you can get your hands on a half a pack if you sign up for my club this month. And signups will be available until I run out of kits. So the sooner you sign up, the sooner you can get your hands on one of the kits. So then I took the Stylish Shapes dies and I took the stamp, the sentiments are from the Dainty Delights stamp set. And I stamped it using the Rich Razzleberry ink. And I just, I don't know, we'll just see. I think I could pop it up there. That looks pretty good. So let me get some dimensionals here. I don't wanna pop up the end flag part of it because that's gonna be kind of going over the inside. You could do it like that. Then I had, I did tie a couple white bows. You know, I kind of was thinking a little bit here what I could do. So I have some white, that crinkled ribbon already tied. Let's bring in my pick tool here. So now you're kind of going to see how I design. I kind of design on the fly and kind of, yep, I kind of just wing it. 
So I'm going to bring in another one of these. Oh, I put that on the wrong side. Let's pick that up. And we'll put that where it should be. And this print is identical because the two pieces that I cut were identical. And then we have our ribbon again. And I'll trim that. And then Club Members got the full pack of those gorgeous brass butterflies. So I think they go perfect with this card and this paper. So I'm just going to kind of place some of them around. Maybe I'll put one little one right there. It's kind of cute. How simple is that? So if you wanted to, you could create all eight cards with this fold because all your designer series paper was cut the same size. So just change your card base and you can create all eight the same. So that's card number one and two, I guess. Now I did cut some strips because like I said, I didn't know if I was going to, you know, I haven't seen a finished product, so I didn't know if I was going to like just having that white shown, but the white does look nice. This is pear pizzazz, and I embossed it using some new embossing folders that we have. They're exclusive to online ordering. You get a pack of three embossing folders. So this is like a crosshatch, which is what I used on the green here. And then this is like polka dots. And then this is like a starburst pattern. Now, these are online exclusive items. They're, you won't find them in any of the Stampin' Up! publications. Um, they just came out March 1st with some exclusive online only items. So you'll find that if you look under the video under Show More, I have a link to these embossing folders. And then on my blog, I also have a special this month. If you purchase the Irresistible Hello Irresistible Bundle, you will get a PDF file from me for 10 different cards created using that bundle. So what do you think? Should I put the pear pizzazz in or leave it white? Let me know. I like the pear I Okay, so there we go. Good deal. So one side is pushed up and one is down. I kind of like the raised. And because it is a raised image, I am going to use my liquid glue. And attach that to the inside. Like so. So there you have it. That's with the pear pizzazz. I did also do some in the rich razzleberry, but I think now that's too dark. I think I do have it in the pear pizzazz. So I think I'll add it. That, it gives it a little something, something. Makes the, stand, the sentiment stand out more. I agree. It just takes a little, because that sentiment with that white, it just, yep, makes it pop. So there we go. That's number one. So we start out a little basic. Now for the next two cards, because we're doing two of each, I couldn't decide what I was going to like, because like I said, I didn't see it. So I did one card base in the Rich Razzleberry and one in the Pear Pizzazz. And this is cut four and a quarter by 11. And then I cut out a half an inch on both sides. So this card is what I would call a center panel card. Let's see if I can... So I just cut that away. It's 
sometimes it gets a little longer than what I need and then so just trim it off the bottom that looks pretty good so I have two pieces of that beautiful designer series paper it looks great on both so it's a winner either way so I'm going to attach this to that front center panel So like I said, this is what I would consider. This one seems a little bit longer. Let me see. I might have cut it just a hair longer. Let's get this. That's going to drive me nuts. That looks better. All right, so we're going to put this on our center panel. And we're going to do the same with the pear pizzazz. And put that there. Okay, so then we're going to put a piece of that white again on the inside. So we're going to do that. Okay, so that's plain white. And where's my little, I got the banners again. And I think I'm going to put them down there. But I also, let's see, I got little strips. Because if you watch my videos, you know I like to put little strips behind my banners. So I think maybe with that I would keep with the green. I could pop, I could come in with the rich razzleberry and do the opposite on this one i don't know what do you think tone on tone or switch out the colors i do have a smaller one i could put up here maybe let's see that's a little thick strip so, like I said, you guys are helping me decorate tonight. I could put that up at the top. I think I like it better at the bottom. Tone on tone. Good idea. Tone on tone. I was going to suggest... Look, this you were going to suggest? Or the tone on tone? We'll do this one first. With our pear pizzazz. So there we go. We're going to pop that up. Prefer no tone on tone. Okay. All right. We can do that too. Okay, so I'm going to put this towards the bottom. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I like to do a little, just a little angle cut. like so now we'll bring in those gorgeous butterflies and we'll just fill in up here and let's see I could put a butterfly in here and then put oops, put a little one he's stuck down here like so that's cute okay so you want me to not do tone on tone do you want it in the upper right hand corner or across the bottom i mean we could still do the short one too switch out the color okay switch out the color so that we'll go to green like that now bottom or top and then what we could do is bring in some strips on that inside panel. Let me attach my white to the inside. Where did my adhesive go? This is kind of fun, you guys, helping me out here. Something different. 
Okay, so we could, I, I embossed these strips with the same folder that I used on the other one. What do you think? And, or I could do tone on tone, but I think that's too much. Bottom, okay. Short or the longer version. And then let me put this one on the inside. Oh, ran out of adhesive. I knew that was coming. So put the short one bottom or top. Bottom or top. And then do we want to put these colored panels inside? bottom okay do we want to do the panels along the side in the different colors okay there's that now I did do the panels in the green so we can put them on that one and you can see I felt the strip was lost on the tone on tone but with the added raspberry it looks more complete. All right, so we'll add those. See, you can always figure out a way to updo those cards, give it a little bit more wow effect, just by adding some coordinating paper, maybe with embossed so it's not so plain love my jewels okay so that one we're going to consider done okay this one I got to add my strip and we're going to go with the green instead of the raspberry and then we're going to pop that up so great use of strips that you might have laying around or you're going to dump those little strips of cardstock. I like to put them behind. So we're going to do, we said bottom, right? Bottom. Down there. Take my scissors. Flip them out. And I think I like the green in here plus it will bring out the green on our strip so we're gonna put that on bring this one over here put that on what do you think? We're going to come in with our butterflies. All right, and a little shorty, he'll go there. So there's those two. So it does give it a different look with the longer, the shorter. They're both gorgeous. I don't know which color I like better as far as card base and accent. I think they turned out great for never seeing what they were going to be. <laughs> All right, so the next one, we're going to step that center panel up just a bit. And we're, I'm, this is going to probably be different, but like, we'll see. So I have... The Rich Razzleberry in the card base, which is five, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a strip here that is three and a quarter by 11, and I'm gonna have to score it. We're gonna score it at five and a half, and at two and three quarters. So you might already know what I'm gonna do with this panel. So I'm going to fold on that score line and then at that two and three quarters we're going to fold 
and we are going to be making a center panel easel card so do the same for this one fold it in half fold your two and three quarters to the inside like so and then you have to have two pieces that are identical and that's going to be your easel strip there so we want to attach it just to the bottom portion here now I could use my liquid glue for that match that up like so we're going to take our pieces that we cut this paper is just so beautiful all right so we're going to put that on here you know i have i forgot about these little guys i got these little pieces left this is going to go on my card base all right and then it's going to easel up like this so I could, but then I'm going to lose my Razzleberry. I could put those along the side, but then I'm totally covering up the Razzleberry paper. You're not even going to see the Razzleberry paper. Hmm. I could have put them on the last card we did. That would have been cool. Let's see, where could I put these? Maybe the last card, I can decorate the inside pieces with them. Okay, let's see. Love these cards, I'm thinking, oh, I'm thankful I have the DSP. I don't think the strip, nope, I don't think I can add the strip on this one just because there's not gonna be no, Nothing left over if I did that. You wouldn't see my rich razzleberry. So let me center this as best I can. All right, so there's that. This piece is for the inside. Of our... easel now i didn't have time to go through other stamp sets but my plan was to put celebrate you and then on the inside you have to pop up for your so it easels so what i could do is put this on the inside and maybe later i will put a like a happy birthday banner at the top like that or I could put the celebrate you on the front and inside pop up a little section that says happy birthday or birthday wishes, something like that. I didn't get time to pull a stamp set, but you'll get the idea. And I'm sure you all know how an easel card works. You have to have it popped up with your dimensionals so that it will, you know, easel. So we'll just do the front. Let me... I'm going to do celebrate you and I think I'm going to put it right there at the top. So I'm going to attach that. This turned out pretty. I didn't know if I would like the having the pear pizzazz on top of the rich razzleberry and I wasn't sure if that would be too plain, but I like it. I like it. Now this strip is a little thicker than my other ones, but it works. And then we'll put the butterflies on there. So I can do that. We'll put a little one up here. And maybe I'll put a bigger one down here and like I said I will find a sentiment so that we can pop that up on the inside but that's how those are two are done let's finish this one out
The DSP is sold out. This was a celebration free DSP. I do have uh, kits left over from my club, which is this month's club. So if you hurry up before I run out, you can get this month's club kit. And all month long, I'm gonna show you fun stuff that you can create with this card stack. In the club kit, you will get a half a pack of the 12 by 12. So it is six by 12. You get a half a pack, which is pretty much one sheet, if you put it together, of every piece in the pack. So now we're gonna edit, add this to our rich Razzleberry card base. Let's see if I can get this straight here. Like so. We have our white for the inside. Put that on the inside. Again, I would pop up a little piece for the inside, some birthday sentiment. And then maybe this time I will go with the green. What do you think? Should I do green or you like the rich raspberry? Let me know. And I will put my butterflies on while I wait for your vote. The cost of the kit is $40. You get uh, the half of a pack of the designer series paper. You get so are we going green? Green. We, you get a package, the full package of the brass butterflies. You get a half a pack of the adhesive foam strips. You get the kit contents to make eight cards, four different designs, two of each design. You get tonight's PDF file, the pattern for the One Sheet Wonder. And then I do bonus cards all week long and I will be doing more One Sheet Wonders. So you get a lot of ideas in the class as well as all the other stuff I listed. So you can find all the details under the video under show more. I have the direct link to my club and all the details on that. So that's those easels. I would put uh, one in there, but I got a stamp before I put it in. I think you guys all know kind of how those easel cards works. Now we are going to create our final card. And this card is a center panel step card. So we're stepping it up. We went from side panel center panel, center panel easel card. Now we are center panel step card. So we have four and a quarter by 11 and we are going to score this at, let me make sure I get the right one going here. Um, This one, we are going to do it at, I already got one done, so maybe I better look at that. Make sure I get my score lines right. So, one and a quarter. Two and a half. And this is a faux step card, so it's really a lot much easier. And then, let's see, I think, I can't hardly see that. It is at six and three quarters. I don't know where I put my measurements. But if I did it right, when I fold this in half, 
and fold that back and that back. Yep, it should all equal out the same. So that's your faux center step. Did I do my scoring on this panel? Doesn't appear to. And then you have your faux step part. And this is three and a quarter by eight and a half. And we're gonna score this at five and a half. Okay, so that should be all the scoring for those. So I'm gonna fold that. So our little piece from our designer series page there that we have left over will fit on that part right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach those. are getting all attached. Fold up my card base on all those score lines. All right, so here's our faux step. All right, you see how that is? We're going to take our step here and we're going to attach it to the front and then we're going to, once we have that attached, we're going to flip it over, put adhesive here and attach it. But now I have these little strips left over. We could put them along the side. You're not going to see a whole lot of it. And let's see, it's too skinny to be on the, across the bottom. I could put it, here's my inside white. I guess I could put them across the bottom in here. That would work. And I probably still have enough to do the sides. So maybe I'll try the side. Let me, I'm going to have you guys tell me what you like. I'm going to put them on the inside. Okay, that's going to go on that one. We're going to put this one on here. Now the print is going in the right direction when it's this way. When I put it on the card part, it's going a little bit in the different direction, but you're not really going to notice that, I don't think. So what do you think? Do you like it? I like it on the inside. Do you like it along the side? I don't know if I'm a fan. Inside, not on the front side. Okay, so there's the inside on that one. Put it on the inside on this one. Too busy. Too busy if I put it on the front. I kind of agree with you on that one. All right, so since we're not going to put it on, we're going to stick our panels on. So I'm just going to stick that front section and I'm going to try to line that up like so. We're going to flip it over and I'm just going to put my adhesive just along. I'm going to just do two strips along that side and attach it like that. So that's your faux. I don't know how best to show you that. That's your faux center panel step. We'll do the same with this one. That looks 
Good. Flip that over. We'll do a couple swipes like that. So we have that one. Now we're going to take the longer panel and we're going to put that across the bottom there. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards the green because otherwise the raspberry, you're not going to see it. I could always put one up here as well, but I think I like it across the bottom. All right, so we're going to do the pear pizzazz strip. I might be out of strips, so let's see. We're going to put this across the bottom, and I think I want to cover up the... Now, I could have made it so that it was even, and that would have been kind of cool, instead of trimming the ends. That would have taken a little bit of thinking. Let's see. Now let's come in with our butterflies. I think these butterflies just kind of make it. Maybe we want to put one there. I like to put them going in different directions. Maybe here. And you could put as many as you like. There's really no right or wrong. And then you got your inside. Now I could take this leftover strip and trim that down and use that on my as my strip. So let me see it. I like to use my strips either a half an inch or three eighths of an inch. This is a half an inch. And that doesn't have anything on it. So I could do like that. Gives it a little texture. And it's too short to do that. What I thought about straight across, but I kind of like that. Do I want a little thicker? That might be too thick. Yeah, that's too thick. Let me do three eighths of an inch. I think I want just a little bit thicker. Like that. All right, so here's my stamped sentiment. Then we're going to come in. Now, I will have these cards up on my blog, tomorrow's blog post. So if you want to take a closer look at them, I will have them posted tomorrow. My blog goes live around 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you are new to my blog, make sure that you subscribe so you get all my posts. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, subscribe, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you know when I go live, which is generally every Thursday night. I was wondering about tonight because I was having technical difficulties, but thankfully we got it going. Whoops. If you are on my YouTube or Facebook page and you are new, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment there as well. Comment, share, I love it all. Orders are very much appreciated. So there we have it. We have did it. Our eight cards for tonight using that one 12 by 12 sheet of six, well, 12 by 12 cut down. So we have our center panel step card. This was our easel card, which I could have put the, no, not on that one. This one right here was our center panel card. I could have used my little long strip 
instead of cutting the cardstock and embossing it, I could have used my strip. It would have gave a little dimension there. And then card number one is just a very basic fun fold card where we added that. And I could have done the same on that one. I could have put that on there. So lots of possibilities. You can use that whole 12 by 12 sheet with no scraps left over if you substitute that little strip in there somewhere, wherever you like. But those are the eight cards for tonight. I think they turned out fabulous for not seeing what they were going to do. And they, I think they worked great. So I think the Rich Raspberry and Pear Pizzazz is gorgeous together. I love doing the different fun folds. And when I can cut up that designer series paper and create different cards, but if you wanted to, you could create all eight like this. You could create all eight like that because the paper is all cut the same. As far as your designer series paper, it's cut all the same size. So mix and match whichever layouts that you enjoy creating. That is it for tonight. You will find all the supplies I used under the video under show more. You will find the direct link to my blog, which talks about my club where you can get that gorgeous paper. And then tomorrow on my blog, which is www.thestampcamp.com. I will have all these cards listed for you to see close up. That is it for tonight. I enjoyed you guys visiting me and chiming in and helping me to create these cards. I loved all the input. I appreciate that so much. That is it for tonight. Thanks for stopping by.